Um, and then Nick over to the mic and just, yeah, threw it out to people. Um, do you want to do something practical? Do you want to do something local? Because I need to remember walking around the lake and coming back and there were still people talking to you. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. you know, so it really, it hit a nerve. Mm. We had a very um, quick follow-up with a meeting at Grammar about a mm. month later. And that was that was good. We got Bronwyn Marchin from Machin from CBG, uh, CBGA and Terry White, and also um, David Shapiro from Future Energy came. And again, the orientation at that stage, as has been mentioned, has, was really about wind wind energy. And in fact, partly breeze. There was um, an original play on the the concept of wind and you know breeze. Um, and we haven't done much about wind ever since, really. But um, uh, it seemed it seemed crazy that there was 90,000 people in Ballarat that had done nothing about a wind farm when 2,500 people up in Hepburn had. We got uh, 50 or 60 people yeah. to that. And then and people were asked to, at the end if they wanted to, to form an association for which there was a resounding yes. We had a uh, questionnaire. And, um, yeah, we had, I think, 50 or so members on the spot, all paid over their $20. And, um, yeah, that was really the, the beginning of having to then go and read out, read up about how one started an association, really. And that was the thing when Nick said, um, "Can we maybe form a group that uh, can do something uh, about this?" I thought, "Yeah, yeah, I'll get involved." And then, then he emailed, and um, the few the people who had uh, given him their their email addresses, and uh, and I thought, "Oh, I don't do this sort of thing." All right, but I did, and uh, yeah, and the rest has just grown. And my my feelings about the um, uh, about the issues of, of climate change have, uh, have increased and my uh, tendency to um, sit on the fence has, has disappeared. The thing that struck me about Breeze, which is in complete contrast to lots and lots of other community and environmental organisations and groups that I've been involved with, is that it was so much driven by the desire of the people to have it happen mm -hmm. rather than a couple of leaders having a good idea and and then managing to kind of cajole people into coming mm -hmm. along. It was much more the other way. And it was almost, it was actually, I found it pretty funny that the group were clearly not going to leave the room until they'd paid their money to someone to join <laughs> something, you know? So that's why I think it's amazing that there was this committee that said, okay, we'll step up and we'll do it. Because yeah. that's what it needed. It, it, like there was a lot of interest there, but nobody was prepared to step up. Yeah. And then Nick did and then the committee came and then that's how Breeze formed. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the very special thing about Breeze, that people were, were willing to step up and lead others in that. Mm. I remember just asking how many people out of the 175 have got solar hot water and there was, I can't remember, not many, no, 10, no. 15 yeah. people and they were really the environmentally committed people, 175 of the right thinking people that didn't have solar hot water and that was really the trigger of, well if you guys haven't done it, how on earth mm. is the mainstream going to mm. do it because you guys should be the ones that have got it. So. Really, even though it was, a, it was a long process, that one, it was really a way of, of, of nailing something to the wall of, you know, let's actually just get into this by taking some practical action. Uh, and as soon as we were shown to be doing something real, sticking a piece of technology on a roof, suddenly people thought, you're not just a talking group, mm. you're a doing group. Mm. And I think that was a real critical mm. part of the, mm. of the beginning of the, the rolling of the stone. We had a lot of professionals on the committee that had had experience with facilitating or graphic design or writing grants or organising events and I think that made a huge difference so we were able mm. to present that professional edge. The other thing is, is really very early on I can remember having a conversation in the, in the committee about Breeze doing things differently and we've done consistently done things differently.